Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Buy new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Coming to you live from the Gatorade broadcast booth, distributed by Pepsi Beverages, helping kids fuel, recover, and perform. Jeff Blank been joined right now by Michaela Cron, the head coach for the IK Man and Wolves. You fall tonight, but uh, got to be happy with the way the kids kind of battled back, especially in that late part of the second set, and then in the third set, able to get your your lead here a little bit tonight. So, what do you take away from tonight being the first match of the year? Um, I think the girls just were really nervous those first couple sets, set and a half, pretty much. Uh, so it's good to get one of those out of the way. Just, okay, now we can relax, especially going into Boyer Valley on Thursday. What have you kind of focused on trying to get ready for tonight? We've focused a lot on our serve receive because we know that we need to do that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, but just a lot of serve receive, we know that we're going to see a lot of teams with really good serving. So just to help us out so we can try to keep our ball in system as much as possible. What did you see from your serve receive tonight? Um, we struggled a little bit, especially for sets one and two. I think it got a little bit better. They were very good servers, though, so we're just not used to that when you're playing against yourself, you know, in practice for three weeks. It's just, okay, it's nice <laughs> to see somebody else. But, uh, yeah, definitely still need to improve on that. When you got the chance to swing tonight, what did you see from your hitters? I thought they did a good job mixing it up. It wasn't just all um, – to, uh, hits and we had some roll shots and some tips and we found some open spots used the block a little bit too so that was nice where were you hoping to be able to kind of attack them tonight when you got your swings where did you kind of notice maybe some areas where you could swing to um we just talked a lot about like deep deep corners we knew that they were going to be a good team defensively so the farther like out of bounds we can put them <laughs> the better kind of i mean not out of bounds but deep in so that they have to run out of bounds kind of thing so that definitely helped How'd you, did you feel like you guys were able to get some touches and blocks and help that back row with the net yeah, play? Yeah, I do. Um, I think they did a good job of getting just slowing down the ball just a little bit. You know, there was a couple where we didn't get to it, and they, they did, had good hits. But we did um, use that block to our advantage and help the back row a little bit. Tomorrow's what they call church day or whatever, yep. so <laughs> probably a morning or a quick practice tomorrow. What do you work on to get ready for that match Thursday that Tyler will broadcast? Um, same thing, just a lot of uh, serve-receive and working on our hitting to make sure we're still aggressive and our serving to keep that aggressive but not out of bounds and in the net kind of thing. Well, Michaela, I appreciate you coming up. Good to see you again here. Yes. Best luck coming up Thursday night. You too. Thank you. Kylie Powers with ICAM Manning joining us here in the Mackey Motors postgame show. First match of the year. You're going against yeah. a team that had eight matches already under their belt. I think early on, little nerves, probably trying to break some of the rust Yeah, we off. were all extremely nervous. <laughs> Our hearts were racing. We were, I feel like we were, yeah, nervous. <laughs> when did you feel like you kind of got into the match and settled down a little bit? Probably the middle of the second set is when we really started getting going and started working better as a team. What started to click for you? Where do you feel like from there on that you and the girls played well? Um, I feel like once we got on a run, we started getting going and then we got the hang of it and then we kept going and got the nerves right out of the way and we relaxed. Fell down in that second one, 12 to nothing, able to battle back, ended up only losing 25 to 12. So you kind of played with them the rest of the way. How tough was it being down 12 nothing to kind of keep that focus? Cause that's when you dug it. That's when your girls mm -hmm. kind of dug deep at that point. Yeah, I feel like once we started like encouraging each other more and keeping our spirits up and getting our nerves out of the way and relaxing, we did good. Kylie, a junior, but one of the leaders on this team, still kind of a young team and a young program kind of rebuilding a little bit. Where do you feel like this team's going to be strong as this season goes on? Um, Probably our front line attacks and back row too. So all around really in our serves and our passing, just everything really. I feel like we work really well together. We get along really good. How do you feel like you served tonight and where were you girls trying to attack them in the serve tonight? We were trying to serve aggressively and I feel like I did pretty good because I haven't been doing the best serving, but tonight I feel like I did better than normal. Top spin or float, what were you using tonight? It looked like top spin to me. Top spin, the first like set, but the second set I started getting a little bit more aggressive with them. What, what makes you more comfortable with that top spin serve? Um, I don't know, if I just look and I see an open spot and I see where coach tells me to serve it, then I said I'm confident with that area and then I just go for it. Well, I tell you what, I know you girls are going to get things rolling yeah. here tonight. You were playing against a really good team your first match of the year. So appreciate you coming up and, and talking Thank to you. us here tonight.